Wait, what, what are you using? Yet. Wait, it's oh. The new chaperone, bro. I'm telling you, it's literally a, a goat. Okay, that's a good title. That's a good title. That's it's a good. Than chaperone no, that's a good. Legendary. That's a good title. I'll put it in the video. It's better than chaperone. In my in, opinion, in quotes in quotations. Like if you're looking to buy some advanced GG, you could use my code Walla for 10% off. Thank you. Hey, what's going on, guys? Walla here. You did see from the intro, my friend Zorbic was saying the Fortissimo 11 is better than the Chaperone. Now, obviously, when Chaperone has Roadborne proc, nothing beats it, not even a rocket launcher. But normally, like when the gun's just at its normal state, okay, this might be better. Who knows? I mean, I don't really use slug shotguns at all. Uh, but just judging off of this roll, obviously, it's really good. We've had a lot of slug shotguns with this roll, though. So I don't know why Zorbic thinks this specific one's really good. Maybe it's in because it's in the kinetic slot maybe because the scope on it is really nice too i did see the scope on it it's very beautiful one other thing this one has that the old ones don't have it does have the vanguard trade on it so final blows with this weapon grant a small amount of health which is pretty good it does have the Suro synergy one which is kind of trash i would stay away from that one uh, and use the vanguard one it's like any other slug shotgun i'd assume but opening shot always makes things really really nice and you could also shoot this thing in the air because obviously it's a legendary, you can slot Icarus mod on it. So I think this is going to be really good. I do have a salt mag as well, so it does shoot a little bit faster. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy the video, and let's get into it. Fuck you. No! I'm getting sucked, man. I wanted, I wanted a slam to go invis, but I don't think I have enough time. This is probably the worst map for uh, for a slug, I feel like. Actually, well, not, not necessarily. It's just the worst map for a shotgun video. I feel like slugs are okay on this. Maybe if I was using, like, a pulse rifle or something, it'd be a little better. I don't have any actual good heavy weapon either. I have some random rocket. <laughs> At least I got a kill. I, I jumped. I jumped right over him. Okay, again, really, really ugly, but I was just not expecting him to just walk in a straight line. Some of these guys are so weird, man. In front of me? I shot at him. We are getting chased. I'm going to pre-nade, see if I can go for a body shot. I did body him, but just not for that much damage. Where are you going? <laughs> All right, he's gone. Someone's on my left. Is he waiting with a primary or something? Just backing up. Someone's in front of me. Going to go for the melee health regen. Because I cannot hit a headshot, apparently. There we go. That was extremely stupid of me to just push in like that. What would have been smarter right there is to shoot him with a primary and then sprint right at him. Because then I would have been guaranteed a body shot instead of, like, kind of gambling. I'm going to go for the... I hate this game. Okay. He's done. Yeah! What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Dude, I feel so sorry for this Titan, man. Oh shit, this guy's actually catching up. What am I doing? I gotta hurry up. Far right side. I don't want to go up top because that's pretty obvious. They're dead again, okay. There's heavy ammo here for me, thank you. And someone's far left side too. Should I just rocket this guy? This is the guy in, uh, in second. Got a nice little rocket on him. I hope that was 50 HP I did to, to him and not his shield. Here we go. Dude, that nade is really good. The Vortex nade? It's the brand new dust field, if anything. It sucks you in harder than dust field does. Uh, I'm gonna go towards the left. Someone's on my right. Body shotted. He's dead. We are getting chased by the Axion. We'll destroy that. I can slide this. Someone's all the way in the back. We're gonna pop tether on him. And that surprisingly killed him. I thought that was going to miss him for sure. What do I even do now? Middle? This guy has no idea I'm behind him. Shotgunner. He might die. Gonna nade him. He has to move. Or not. Never mind. My nade somehow didn't tag him. Someone spawned in front of me in the far back. He's dead too. Nice. I mean, this just feels like a normal slug shotgun. I'm gonna keep it real with you. The only reason why I do like it is the scope on it. The scope is actually really nice. I'm gonna smoke this guy, he runs into it, and he should die. GG. I should have hit the first slug shotgun shot there. That was a really sloppy game, I feel like. I mean, it was good. It was just sloppy.
Listen, I know you're bored and you probably got nothing to do, so why not join the Discord? Discord.gg slash Walla. Okay, thank you. Bye. <laughs> what? <gasps> Ladies and gentlemen, every every grenade launcher user on the planet. I don't know how this is going to work, man. I hate using slugs as a passion because I feel like I can do so much better with a normal shotgun. And also, I just don't really hit the headshots I need to. Ah, I'm taking too long, and this guy has a bow. You know how I feel about bows already. I feel like you can't win in a 1v1. A straight-up 1v1, at least. Unless you actually fight them properly, but it's really hard to do so. I literally can't do anything against them right now. There we go. He got a little impatient and just ran in, which I'm really happy about. We're gonna go for the body shot on this guy. Awesome. Some guy's in tunnel. That's the guy in first. Nice. Okay. I'm gonna go invis with the slam. And I think the hunter might have just spawned next to me here. Nope, that was the warlock. We didn't get our health regen off that melee, which is a little weird. Probably because the melee was delayed on his part. We're gonna follow this guy. We're not gonna double jump because we will get put on radar. Okay, that was extremely ugly. We got both kills, but I was not expecting the guy I was shooting to just to uh, get team shotted. So I got kind of worried. We're going to slide back towards this guy. He's dead. On the air. We just need to hit him once. There we go. Then we can go for the body shot. That's what I was going for. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> that was really easy right there. Whenever you get a smoke bomb on someone, I feel like it's an absolute free kill. What? Hey, yo, I'm right here. What are you doing? I have no more ammo. Oh, these guys are both not running special ammo. What the fuck? Whoa, there's a bow guy behind us. I need that special ammo, though. Some guy middle might just push me. There we go. Thank you. And this guy is in middle still. I'm going to reload this back up. And he just runs into the smoke. What the fuck? What is this guy doing? Oh, we just survived it with the shadow shot, too. That is awesome. I would have died right there if it hadn't have been for my super. That was pretty good. There were a few moments uh, that were not good because there was just a bunch of primary kills. Two of these guys weren't running special ammo. I'll be honest with you guys. I'm not really too sure how to tell if this is a really damn good slug shotgun or not. I don't use them. I'm not entirely familiar with all the ranges and stuff. We all know Chaperone with the perk activated is god tier, but something about having a legendary slug shotgun in the air, being able to get in-air shots is something that I really, really like. Whether this is better than Chaperone or not, I hope you guys enjoyed the video still, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.